we have variable for you. We have part one question, part A question, four questions about demographic. And then we have B1 until B34, isn't it? I think frequency and everything you know, analyze descriptive frequency. Frequency, we only check the first four. Okay. And then we just run okay. All right. So here we have 167 inputs. Yes. The data we have. 167 male 72 female 95 and age group accordingly marital status and all then next one is called descriptive statistics descriptives then we check b1 until b34 descriptive then we put okay then we find minimum maximum and everything we have mean and standard deviation so we have to report this then we go analyze damage reduction factor as usual b1 until b4 we go here descriptive uh, significant level and chemo continue then we extraction nothing to do just continue rotation very max continue Scores nothing to do here. Continue options here. You just put sorted by size and suppress small coefficients with 0 0.50 instead of but you fall 0 0.10, right? So 0 0.50 here. So continue. Then click on OK. We can find here KMO is less than 0.7, so not acceptable. Then we go here, rotated component matrix. Oh my god, we have a lot of factors. So as usual, we will check out last three because these are saturating so 33 29 and 17 okay because it is not only one so 33 b 33 29 and 17 so factor analysis what we'll do b 33 okay 29 33 and 17 so just double click on 17 click OK. Now we go here is acceptable now 0.7 rotated component matrix. So we have found still. Oh, OK. So we can find that number eight. You see there is no loading. See, since there is no loading, but there is something hidden here. How to detect that? We have to play a trick. What is the trick here? We have to click again factor analysis. We only reduce the cutoff value. It is 0.5. Let's put it 0.4. Then we can know what is the problem here. So continue. Then OK. Rotated component matrix. Yes, we found here. B5 is the problematic one. B5. B5 is the problematic one. And also B28 because cross loading. Cross loading means loading the two places. So B5, B28 here and also up here is B5. Yes, B5 is loading twice. B5 and B28. So take out those two. B5 and also B28. Check out this. Click OK. Check KMO. 0.7. Now we have how many factors? Still, these two kind of because at least in it has to be three. 29. So, B26 and B27, you have to take it off. So, click here B26 and B27. Then, okay. Check here, KMO is had it has increased very good. Rotated component matrix. So we have now six factors. It's nicely loaded. So this is factor one, B eight, seven, eight, the six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The second one is B eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Then third one is B one, two, three, four, and followed by like this. So this is very easy. After that, we have to go to analyze, then scale, reliability. As usual, the first one is 678, 9, 10, 11. 
So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is factor, factor 1. Okay. So we click on OK. What do we get? We get this is the first six items for factor 1. And we have to do accordingly. Just